Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Daniela Augustine Squickero with the Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much for joining us today. Good morning. Uh, so tell us, some, I know that Small Business Saturday is a national event mm -hmm. and it's being accepted very well, which is, I think is a great thing. Yes. Uh, but Bluffton's uh, kind of offering an extended version, is that right, for That's the Bluffton right. business community? Can you give us an idea what to expect? Sure. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we've all seen that blue and white logo, the shop small, it's stamped everywhere. Um, of course, Small Business Saturday is coming up. That's the 28th. Um, of November and what we're actually doing through the chamber and the reason that we're running it through the chamber is to have a reason to extend that event mm -hmm. beyond just that one single day. Right. So a lot, in a lot of communities, um, you know, people will leave the community for, for the holiday, but here people come here. <laughs> right. So there are so many people here over Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that. So we figure what better way to point them to not only Old Town, but it's really extended throughout Greater Bluffton. Um, to these small businesses, it's restaurants, it's retailers, it's service service people, um, anybody that really wanted to participate. And in fact, there's still time. Yep. Um, but it, it was really, really an opportunity to do that. And we are extending it from the 25th through the 29th. Okay, so um, all through the kind of Thanksgiving holiday, really. Exactly. And so people have the opportunity to go out. There will be uh, a grand prize raffles through the chamber. There's a selfie contest. <laughs> um, we have our own hashtag. It's Shop Small Bluffton. Nice. Um, and in order to enter, actually, you have to tag your, your photo with that so it's going to be really exciting it's going to be a great event very cool yeah you know I, I was reading some statistics about how you know much more of percentage of the revenue that's that's brought in through small businesses actually trickles through the community versus you know some of the larger box stores and sure. it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. staggering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how much that that helps mm -hmm. if you shop small shops local absolutely and you know every business has their place every business size but um, more exposure can never be a bad thing for a small business that's absolutely you get a lot of, you're getting more and more exposure as time goes on, which is wonderful mm -hmm. for the Bluffton Chamber. One of the things you're sponsoring now is the new, uh, the 2016 Bluffton pageant. How, nice. how do people get involved in that if I had a daughter who wants to, to enroll to, sure. to be a participant? So, time is of the essence, uh, but again, as with the small business, uh, Shop Small, there is still time to get involved in that, um, as well as being a sponsor, which of course is always helpful. Um, to help these girls get the things that they need and get to where they need to go. Mm -hmm. um, as as uh, some of you may not know, uh, the Miss Bluffton pageant is a preliminary for Miss South Carolina, which in turn feeds into Miss America. So this is a really big deal for this area. Um, young ladies, as young as nine actually, can participate wow. in the Miss Bluffton princess. Um, and then you go up to about 13 and you get to the Miss Bluffton teen. And then there's the actual Miss Bluffton. So there are actually three different crowns that are being set uh, this year. And that is going to be held on December 5th at Bluffton High School. So there is still time, but there is not that much. So if you <laughs> want to get in, please do. And then, of course, if you would like to sponsor, get in touch with the chamber. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Or MissBluffton.com. MissBluffton.com. Okay. <laughs> so, Daniela, what has business activity been like in the Bluffton area since you were last on the show? Well, we're seeing the same sort of trajectory that we have been seeing. So it's been this very positive upward movement. And um, since I was on last, we've had quite a few ribbon cuttings, uh, brand new businesses opening up um, in Old Town and in, in the larger area, uh, you know, small, smaller businesses that don't have storefronts necessarily, but they may be partnering with other businesses to have a space or a corner um, or a table in that business. So it's really more than you can see from the street even that's happening. Um, and it's not all retail. There's a lot going on and um, uh, new businesses are being uh, sort of recruited to the area and larger uh, within the state every single day. So um, it, it is a positive, positive direction that we are going in and we only hope to be able to be a part of that and help them with that growth. Well, everybody's muttering about the golden oyster. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to unveil what the golden oyster is and why is that such That's a big deal? That's right. So first of all, we cannot unveil the golden oyster until the design is won. <laughs> so that is actually still open. There is a design contest um, for the golden oyster award. And what the golden oyster award is, is kind of, I hope I'm not stepping on any copyright toes with this, but it's sort of the Oscars of Bluffton business. Right. Um, it's going to be an awards event. Uh, it's the Bluffton Business Awards, and in fact, it's the first year that we're going to be doing this, but we're hoping it becomes this big event that everybody gets excited about on an annual basis. Um, and you can award businesses, you can award individuals, and what you would want to do to find out what those categories are is go onto the Chamber website. Um, and there you can nominate your choices and people can vote. Um, 
And it's just going to be really wonderful. It's another fun way to get the community involved. That's exactly right. And to recognize all the hard-working entrepreneurs exactly. or whatever businesses have been started because there's a lot of them. That's exactly <laughs> right. And uh, you know, and it's not only for businesses; it's also for exemplary individuals. So if you know of anybody that that pops up into your head. Um, that's something that you can do too. And that is going to be the uh, 8th of January at the Oscar Fraser Community Center in Bluffton. Be here before you know it. Yes, yes, it will. And last but not least, tell everybody a little bit since we've blown through the holidays. Yes. I feel like we, they, they run over us very quickly. I mean, the New Year is coming up. So what are the plans on the calendar for 2016 for the Bluffton Chamber? Well, um, there's a lot coming down the pipeline and, and a lot of really exciting things. I've mentioned in the past that we're going to be working on um, a Young Professionals Network and I think that that's something that's really, really important mm -hmm. um, to bolster that young professional community and help them realize that the Chamber is something that's there for them as a resource. Um, and, and that they're not, uh, you know, being forgotten or just sort of. I think that's really important because yeah. I was reading news feeds the other day mm -hmm. just under, you know, local news and stuff and everybody always says, we need young blood. Okay, exactly. well then somebody's got to step up yes. and be that mm -hmm. young blood. Mm -hmm. And if we all sit around and talk about it all the time <laughs> and don't actually step up, it's not going to do any good. So exactly. So that so nurturing far, yeah. that was, is a great opportunity for people who want to help but mm -hmm. don't really know where to get their foot in the door. Exactly. And the chamber is a great first step for that. So so that's one of the reasons that we're putting that together. Um, and then of course we have, as I've mentioned, we have the Health and Wellness Expo. That's going to be the 16th. That is a big event. That'll be at TCL Technical College of the Low Country. And like there, it gets bigger and bigger yes, every year too, doesn't it? And there <laughs> is still spot for, spots for vendors and sponsors for that as well. So again, get in touch with the Chamber if you're interested in that. And even if you're not a vendor or a sponsor for that, that's still a great opportunity to go through and kind of mingle and meet everybody oh, too. Oh yeah, certainly. Come out. There will be a healthy kids zone. Um, obstacles and activities and it's going to be really fantastic so even just for the, for the consumer the visitor that wants to just come through um, it's a day of learning it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. to find other businesses that you might not know exactly about too. well that's a lot of information so make sure that you go check out the Bluffton's website Daniela thank you very much for being with us again thank you and make sure that you come right back for more 843 TV